Volvo's hit model XC60 has been on the road long enough, so it's time for a successor. Car tester Emmanuel Schaefer reports that the first generation Volvo XC60 was a global success. Over a million have been sold in total, making it the best selling luxury compact SUV in Europe for the past three years. Now the second generation has arrived and it has Volvo's new face, including its Thor's Hammer LED daytime running lights. The XC60 is the first of the 60 series to be based on the scalable product architecture, following the example of its big brother, the XC90. The new compact SUV comes with a complete range of safety features and that's part of a greater plan. Emmanuel knows Volvo has set itself an ambitious goal. From the year 2020 on, there are to be no more deaths or severe injuries in accidents involving a new Volvo. And to achieve it, they've been working flat out on various systems for active, passive and preventative safety. New and updated driver assists support the driver in steering and avoiding collisions. The blind spot information system, for example, if the driver fails to spot a vehicle in the blind spot, ignores the warnings and starts to move into the other vehicle's lane, the Volvo gently steers itself back into its own lane, even if the driver had signalled beforehand, which would normally deactivate the lane-keeping aid. If, in spite of all the safety features, an accident does happen, the car's occupants are protected in a passenger compartment reinforced with boron steel. Video of a rolling car shows just how strong the cabin structure is. Outside, just like its bigger and smaller stablemates, the new XC60 shows Volvo's current face with its distinctive grille. The five-seater is not quite 4.7 metres long. The trunk's capacity can be expanded from 505 to 1455 litres. The luxury aspect becomes apparent in the interior. All the materials are high quality and the workmanship flawless. All the available engines are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The ventilated Nappa leather comfort seats cost about 2,000 euros extra. Emmanuel notes that the display isn't horizontally oriented, as in most cars, but vertically. It doesn't make that much difference for the infotainment system, but it does for the air vents. Normally they would put out a band of air that you could adjust to hit you in the face or chest or elsewhere. But with the vents placed vertically, he gets the stream of air along the length of his body, which he finds very pleasant. Also pleasant is the ample legroom in the back seats. Five engines are available for the XC60, two gasoline-powered, two diesels and the plug-in hybrid we tested. A twin engine putting out 300 kilowatts. It carries the Volvo from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.3 seconds. Average fuel consumption is rated at 2.1 litres per 100 kilometres. What Emmanuel really likes about the XC60, aside from its design, is the generous standard equipment. And the touch of luxury has also taken a big step upward. And if that's not enough, there's a more than satisfactory list of options, but they'll push the price up really fast. A new Volvo XC60 can be had for anywhere from 48 to 80,000 euros in Germany.